I think America needs to be introduced to the real Jesus, not the one seen in pictures on church walls. <laughs> you know the one, the man with the soft Bambi eyes, flowing locks of shining hair, wearing a long white dress, looking like he dances in a Broadway show. No wonder people sneer at the Christian faith. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was one rough character. He worked all his life in the sun with hammers and chisels, hauling rocks and lumber for his work. When the Son of God launched his ministry, he took on the most dangerous, corrupt leaders of his day. Jesus deliberately picked fights with the Pharisees and exposed their false teaching before the public. He feared no man, and on at least one occasion, he took a whip to the money changers in the temple. And that was no spur of the moment temper tantrum. He platted that whip. And as he did so, you can bet that he was picking his targets. More than once, his enemies tried to kill him. His own townspeople tried to throw him off a cliff, but he walked through them and kept going. Was that a supernatural act, or did he just bull his way through? And don't ever forget the showdown between the Son of God and the Pharisees when they caught the woman in adultery and had rocks in their hands to smash her brains out. Jesus stopped them cold, shaming them and forcing them to walk away. To the frightened, humiliated woman, he said, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. He loved fiercely but never tolerated sin. But to people who were hurting and repentant, Jesus was gentle and compassionate, the perfect mix of love and fierceness. And Jesus did something the religious leaders of his day would never do. He sought out the outcasts, the down and out. Jesus was considered an outlaw. His government wanted him dead. The fancy religious people rejected him. His friends were few, but they were willing to die for him and in fact, most of them did. He spent time with drunks, cheaters, and liars. He gave them bold words of eternal life, and nobody could kill him because his time had not yet come. Nobody took Jesus' life. God the Son laid it down of his own volition in obedience to his Father. And then he rose again, proving to the world that he is indeed God the Son. And he lives today to intercede for those who believe in his name. This is Outlaw's Chapel because, like Jesus, <laughs> this world and a lot of churches don't like us. We would rather be faithful to God and be hated by the world than be liked by the world and rejected by God. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.